Oh yeah, you see that right there? Clean shaven. So last stream I was actually asked how much would it take for me to shave off my beard and I made the mistake of actually putting a price on it. Now I thought I was safe and I said a hundred dollars and I should have known better because the chat came in, dropped a hundred dollar donation, at least one individual did, and then I had to shave off my beard live on stream. No! <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, hold that for me. So, if you want to see that on my Twitch account at twitch.tv slash eaglegarrett, you can see that whole entire episode and see me shave off my beard. So anyway, I'm babyface eagle in this video. But now that we know why my beard is gone, that's not what this video is about at all. This video is actually about how to auto-assign subscribers on your Twitch channel into your subscriber role on Discord. And so we're gonna be talking about how to set that up. I've actually had a lot of people asking me about that in some of our other Discord tutorial videos. So in this video, I'm gonna simply show you how to set that up so that when somebody subscribes to you on Twitch, they'll automatically be assigned a subscriber role in your Discord server. So as always, like we mentioned just a second ago, I am a live streamer on Twitch at twitch.tv slash eaglegarrett. So come hang out with us, say what's up. And if you have any questions about this video or some of the other videos I've done, feel free to ask in the chat. I'll try to answer the, the best I know how. Also, I wanna give a huge shout out to the wonderful sponsor of this video, placeit.net. Placeit has thousands of mockups and templates for stream overlays, Twitch panels, logos, merch, YouTube end screens, animations, and so much more. Once you find the template you're looking for, you can customize colors, text, and other elements to make the perfect design creation. After that, download it and it's completely yours to use however you want with full commercial license. Instead of spending hundreds of dollars on design work, you can purchase a subscription to place it for only $7.08 a month with unlimited downloads. Just use my 15% off discount link in the description below. Thank you so much to Placeit for sponsoring this video. And guys, seriously, check them out. They are awesome. I use them for all kinds of stuff. And a lot of people in our community have also used Placeit to get their logos and graphics all set up. So you guys check it out and don't miss that 15% off in the link in the description. But now it's time to jump in and check out how to set up auto roll assignment in your Discord server so that your Twitch subscribers automatically are given that subscriber role in your Discord. So, okay, so here we are in the Flock Discord, which is the Discord server for this entire community here on YouTube and on my Twitch stream. And uh, if you look over here on the right-hand side, we've got a bunch of people that are currently streaming, which is a feature of our Discord. When people go live, they get put into another category. But if we'll scroll down here in just a minute, you're gonna see all of these green names change to red. And the reason why they've changed to red is because we have a new section starting right here called the High Flyers Club. Now the High Flyers Club are the subs on my Twitch stream. And uh, and so they're put in their own category here. And unless they're streaming, then you can see everybody who's a High Flyers Club member right here. And if we, uh, if we left click on their name, then you can see that they've been given that role right here along with all these other roles. But if I was to go in and give each one of these people that individual role when they come in and subscribe, it would take me forever to keep up with that. I would forget who's subscribed, I would have to go back and check, and then I'd have to come in and do each person individually, and it's just way too time consuming. But there's a much easier way. In fact, you can have this happen automatically through your Discord server. And so in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to set that up. Now, if you are interested in joining the flock on Discord, there is a link down in the description of this video, as well as links to everything that we talk about and all the social medias and, and you know my Twitch stream and all that kind of stuff. So you guys check that out. But how do we set this up? And this is a question I get a lot in some of our other tutorial videos. So to show you guys, I'm gonna go over here to our test server Okay, so here we are in our test server, and there are a few things we need to set up in order for this all to work properly. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure that your own Twitch account is linked to your Discord server. And so in order to do that, if you haven't done that already, come down here to the little gear icon that says user settings, click on that, and then go up here to connections. And then once you're at connections, you will have this area right here where you can link your Twitch account to your Discord. Now, if you haven't done this yet, go ahead and do this, make the, the connection, and once you've done this, we're ready to move on to the next step. So we're gonna exit out of this, we're already connected, we're gonna exit out of this, and we're gonna go over here to our, our Discord server, and we're gonna right click on it, go down to server settings, and then integrations. Once we get down here to integrations, it's gonna bring up a couple of different options. We're gonna wanna click on the Twitch integration option, click on manage, and then we'll see our Twitch account show up right here, 
and we're going to want to enable this Twitch integration. So we're going to click on enable. It's going to think about it for just a second and bring in all of our information from Twitch. And now our Discord server is connected to our Twitch account. And you can see that it's synced the role Twitch subscribers. So it's actually created a brand new role for you automatically. And, uh, and then it'll show you how many subscribers you have on Twitch. And you can come down here and you can uh, tell it what to do whenever somebody is not a subscriber. So if somebody's a subscriber and they've been given the Twitch subscriber role and then they decide to not resubscribe, then you can actually either select remove from role or you can have them kicked out of your server after so many days. So you can select how many days you want that to be. Uh, and then the last thing is you wanna check mark this box which gives your subscribers from Twitch the ability to use your Twitch emotes in your Discord server. So we're gonna go ahead and click that little button as well. Once we've got all of this done, we're gonna hit save changes. And next you wanna come over here and click on the synced role. Because now that we've got the role set up, you'll notice that we have a couple of brand new roles in our Discord server. And so we've got a Twitch subscriber role and then we have the Twitch subscriber tier one, tier two and tier three. Uh, these right here, you don't really need to worry about because all this does is put a little role when somebody subscribes, it tells what tier subscriber they are. Uh, you can actually come in here and customize these if you want them to say, you know, uh, just tier one, you know, you can you can do that and it can say tier one, this can be uh, tier two, and you can even make this one tier three, and that way, like, it's a little bit shorter. You can do it that way. Another thing you can do is for the actual Twitch subscriber role, you can click on that, and if you'd like to change the color, you can change the color, and you can also adjust permissions and that sort of thing. Now, I've got a whole entire Discord tutorial setup video that shows you how to set your permissions for different roles on Discord. So that'll pop up at the top of this video. Check that out if you need some help setting up your, your permissions for your subscriber roles and that sort of thing. But another thing we wanna do is actually go ahead and drag the subscriber role above our verified members role. And uh, verified members in this Discord are people that have come in and agreed to our rules. They've clicked a little check mark that's automatically assigned them to the verified members role. And again, I'll have a video that pops up at the top of this, this video that will show you how to do role reactions where someone can click a reaction and it will give them a role automatically. But uh, anyway, we're gonna drag Twitch subscribers above that because we want our Twitch subscribers to show up higher up on our user list whenever they're online. After we drag Twitch subscribers up here to the top, we wanna make sure we come down here to the uh, to the role settings and we wanna display role members separately from online members. And this will allow our subscribers to show up on the right hand side above verified members, which are just you know people who have joined the community and agreed to our rules. Now once we've got all of this set up and we've made sure that we clicked display role members separately from online members, we can exit out of this and you'll notice up here in the top right hand corner now we show up as a Twitch subscriber. So if there was another person in this server that was just a verified user, they would show up underneath anybody who's a Twitch subscriber. And so anytime somebody subscribes to you on Twitch, they're going to automatically be given this Twitch subscriber role in your Discord. Hey guys, Video Editing Garrett here. And as I'm editing this video, I just realized that I did not tell you that your users need to make sure that their Discord account is connected to their Twitch account, just like I showed you in the beginning of this video. So tell them to connect their accounts so that when they subscribe, it will automatically put them in the subscriber role on Discord. If their accounts aren't connected, then it will not put them in the role automatically. With that being said, just wanted to make sure you knew, let's get back to the video. Or whatever you choose to call it, you can actually relabel it whatever you want it to be. In our Flock Discord, we actually have them labeled, like we mentioned earlier, as uh, High Flyers Club members. So you can just go in there and rename, uh, rename your subscribers whatever you'd like and then it's going to auto sync anytime somebody subs or unsubs it's going to adjust that for you it's going to take care of it for you and manage the whole entire process without you having to do anything else so guys there you have it that's all you need to do in order for your twitch and discord accounts to be linked and for them to auto manage your subscribers from twitch in your discord server so they'll take people take people in and out as they subscribe or are unsubscribed to your twitch channel so hopefully this has helped you out guys if it has a lot of you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, so make sure you smack that subscribe button and join the flock here on YouTube. Also, smack that notification bell to know when videos like this come out. And to help this video get out to as many people as possible, smack that thumbs up button. I would greatly appreciate it. Also, guys, I am on Twitch at twitch.tv slash so come hang out with us over there. We would love to see you in the community. Swing by any time. If you have any questions, you can always ask me in the chat. And on top of that, I am on Twitter 
Facebook, uh, Instagram, in our Discord. All the links for that will be in the description of this video, guys. Make sure to check those out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it's been helpful to you. Remember, rock on, peace out, God bless, and last but not least, cacao! Okay, you guys, come in here and tell me, does this HD TV look like a 24-inch TV? It looks like a 48-inch TV to me. That looks yeah, a little bit... Was, yeah, looks, no, that, that's definitely false advertising. Though. Yeah, that's false advertising. It's way bigger my, than that. My, my monitor's a 24-inch monitor, and it's insanely small. Yeah, why would they put a 24-inch in a box this huge? It's a smart <laughs> It's a smart LED TV, which is good, but, dude, I'm telling you, this is way too big for 24 <laughs> inches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe.